Who who's the funniest guy on the roster? This who's year? the funniest guy on the roster? Uh, that's a that's a good question. We got a lot of a lot of comedians on the team. I think off the top of my head, Stone, Azarkan, safety. Um, yeah, but then the whole room of safeties is a bunch of funny guys. So yeah. Um, RJ mentioned that Cam Rising might be one of the funnier guys, maybe a little under he the radar. Is. Yeah. Like people wouldn't know that, but. Yeah. No, Cam, Cam's a funny guy too. You'd be surprised, you know, with, you know, this big caliber player. But uh, yeah, he's he's a cool guy. Um, and, and just speaking of Cam, um, how important has he been to this team? And obviously, you guys play defense, but mm -hmm. whenever you guys do get a hurt, I mean, you guys go up against him in practice every day. So yeah. What kind of player is he? What is maybe something that someone outside of the program wouldn't know about Cam? Yeah, I think for me, Cam Cam plays a a big role on our team, obviously, but. Something that maybe you guys don't see from the outside is he's a, a very genuine person. I think he takes the time to get to know every one of the guys. Uh, and that really fuels our team where everybody knows that we're a tight-knit group and everybody you know, cares about everybody. And uh, yeah, it's been great to have them in the offense uh, just being successful the way they have been this year because it fuels us as a defense to you know, you know, get a longer break on the sideline. and. Um, that momentum builds across the ball. And uh, speaking of offense, the Penn State offense, what have you yeah. seen from film from them? Uh, what, what are some things maybe you guys are expecting um, in this game at the Rose Bowl? Yeah, they're, they're a really good offense. I think uh, across the board, O-line, running backs, uh, quarterbacks and receivers, they're all, they're all really good. So we're excited for the challenge. Uh, just, yeah, it's gonna be it's going to be a good game. So we're excited. And uh, is, is there anyone that maybe you can compare them to a, a previous opponent you guys played this season? Any anyone maybe you guys are able to kind of match them to? Personally, I feel like they're they're pretty comparable to our offense at Utah. Just kind of a tough physical team, trying to establish the run first uh, and then open up things from there. So. And um, I know Clark Phillips isn't playing in this game, mm -hmm. but he's a California kid. Yeah. How important has he been? just to the defense and to this program? He's been huge, man. He's made a lot of big plays throughout the season and uh, definitely going to miss him. Um, but I feel like we're, we're equipped to, to handle it. And, um, yeah, excited for other guys to step up and make plays, and we're going to miss Clark. Um, but, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you, James. I covered Penn State, so I wanted to go okay. back to that. And so you thought yeah. that... Um, that the offense is a little bit similar. What stands out to you when you look at Because, I mean, obviously the two freshman running backs mm -hmm. have kind of been, that's been what Penn State's been about this yeah. year. But what, what's impressed you about what they've been able to do? Yeah, I think, like I said, when I think about our offense, I think about physicality and toughness. And uh, I see that when we watch, watch their film. Like, the offensive line works well together, um, along with the tight ends. Uh, they block well together. They they play hard, um, and the running backs run hard. They break tackles. They make people miss. So I think uh, just this kind of calling card of being tough and physical. Who on that offensive line has impressed you? Because they don't know if their left tackle is going to play. He's like, you know, he's going to play next year, but they don't know if he's going to play in the game. So who's kind of stood out to you? Seventy four is the. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think across the board, like I don't know if I point out one particular person. I, I, as a left defensive end, I focus on the right tackle, yeah. so I've seen, you know, 72 and 79. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but I, I think regardless of the injuries that they face, they all work well together as a unit. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, quarterback as well, Clifford, uh, adds to that, where he's a good general out there calling the plays and uh, also buying time with his legs. So, so I appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. When you when you look at the film and everything, a lot of people have said, you know, these two programs kind of mirror each other in how they approach the game. Mm -hmm. Do you see that, and is that a fair representation of how this is? Definitely. I, I think we'd heard that from the beginning when we found out that we were going to play Penn State. And as I've continued to watch film and study, prepare for the game, I've seen a lot of uh, carryover. I haven't watched a lot of their defense. I've heard their defense is legit and tough. Uh, and I feel like that's similar to our our program and uh, what I've seen from the offense is the same, uh, you know, same type of scheme, same type of physicality that I see from our, from our offense. So.
Scally kind of talked about this <clears throat> being very similar to maybe the Oregon State game, which kind of resembles a similar type yeah. thing. Do, yeah. do you feel like that that gives you kind of a, a game that you can look at and say, okay, here's how we can beat a team like this? Yeah, I think I think for sure. Uh, Oregon State is is a really tough team, and now that you mentioned, I think about a lot of zone scheme uh, where the offensive line is flowing together, and, and Oregon State's O line works well together. So I think that's a good comparison. Yeah. When you, I mean, when you decided to make the, the change from Stanford to here mm -hmm. or to Utah, not here, I guess. But, yep. Uh, Obviously, like you were sold on the idea that this was going to be a big year. Obviously, you're coming home, doing different things yeah. that way. But did, did you really envision maybe being back, at, not back, but at the Rose Bowl? <sighs> to be honest, I, I I didn't know what I was going to get. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. I was here last year in LA to watch my brother. Um, was watching the game from the stands, but I don't know if I ever expected to be you know on the field a year later uh, at the Rose Bowl. But obviously, I had big expectations. I knew that uh, coming to Utah, you're always going to be a contender for Pac-12 Championship and Rose Bowl. But, um, yeah, it's been it's been amazing. So I, I'm super grateful I made the change. Well, last year there was a lot of people that wanted to talk about Ohio State is the blue blood, and now it's Penn State is kind of the blue blood of, of college football. Do you feel like Utah is now kind of getting into that newer version of a blue blood? I know it's, there's still things to do, but mm -hmm. uh, w what's kind of your take on that? Um... <clears throat> Personally, I feel like Utah's really established themselves as, as, a, as a program um, to be coveted and a program to be, you know, other programs are trying to imitate uh, Utah. So I think the University of Utah has really established itself as, you know, one of the top tier programs in, in the Pac-12. So. What do you feel like you guys have to do to be successful this next week? I think just do what we've been doing all season. Uh, there's going to be ups and downs throughout the game, but uh, as long as we continue to rely on each other and uh, just focus on the, the next play, the next drive, um, we'll be good. We have, we have the guys, and obviously Penn State has a good team, but uh, I feel confident about our abilities and think we'll make the plays we need to make. Yeah, thank you. How's it going? Connor. Connor, Gabe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm with the Rose Bowl, so I got okay. some uh, silly, stupid questions. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, no worries. Right on. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go a little rapid fire. Okay. <clears throat> so, who's the one guy in the locker room that doesn't get the aux cord? That doesn't get the aux cord. Um, off the top of my head, I'm just going to have to go with my brother, Karina. Yeah. Right off. I'll let you guys keep you sure? Yep, go for it. Hi, Gabe. How are you doing? Good. Um, what are your impressions of their running game, particularly in two They're tough, man. I'd say they're very impressive backs, especially considering uh, they're freshmen. They run hard, uh, break tackles. So it's definitely going to be a group effort in terms of us as a defense getting to the ball and uh, bringing them down. How big a role do their tight ends play in their offense, and what are your impressions in their offense? They're huge. I think they're an integral part, very similar to our offense, um, both in the run game with blocking and opening holes up for uh, the running backs as well as the pass game in terms of play action and uh, other route combos. So they're, they're a good group of guys that work well together with the O-line and the running backs. So we're definitely going to have our hands full. What makes your defense so successful? I think we really live... <clears throat> Our mantra of being relentless, smart, nasty uh, ball hawks. So. Turnovers are obviously big. Yeah, they're huge. We're always going for the ball. So, and then I think we play with passion, man. We we love to play the sport, and I think it shows on on the field. You guys have a reputation of being physical. Do you see that from Penn State as well? Definitely. And what does that what does that pave the way for on Monday? Yeah, I think, uh, like you mentioned, and. A lot of the coaches mentioned this to us as soon as we found out we are playing Penn State. We're going to be playing a tough physical team just like us. So I think that's something that you can expect to see on, on Monday. Um, it's going to be a good game, and, and we're excited about it. A little smile on your face. Does, yeah. are, they, are these the kind of games that you enjoy? Yeah, it's, it's fun, man. I mean, uh, it's going to be a dogfight, and, and that's what you live for, man, when you play the game of football, just a tough physical game. So, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.
Okay, long road in your college career. What yeah. does it mean to end up in this kind of a game and environment and big stage? Yeah, it means the world to me, man. I uh, feel like I couldn't uh, write a better ending to, to my college career. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited, especially opportunity to play with my brother. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. When you look at this game, um, your defense has been getting better, it seems like, every week. Mm -hmm. Not having Clark in there, mm -hmm. what, uh, what kind of impact does that have on you guys? It's a big impact. I mean, Clark is a, a playmaker, and uh, we're going to have to pick up the slack. With him not being there, we're going to miss him. But I have full confidence in, in our defense and in the guys who are going to step up. We have a lot of great uh, DBs and corners in particular that are going to make plays and have been making plays as we've been practicing and preparing for the, the bowl game. So I'm excited. I think it's bowl games are always a time for guys to step up and show what they can do because in this day and age we have guys opting out and declaring for the draft or transfer portal. So, what uh, does, does Penn State remind you of anybody that you played? Uh, earlier I was talking to one of the reporters and he mentioned Oregon State and I think that's a good comparison. Apart from our own program, which yeah, yeah. a lot of people have hit yeah. on. But I think, in particular, their offense uh, is similar to Oregon State. It's pretty run-heavy, heavy team. Um, a lot of play action, boots, stuff like that. So. Do you feel like playing in a Pac-12 schedule with so many dynamic quarterbacks and things kind of prepares you for games like this? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, these guys, Penn State, have a mobile quarterback. But we're used to that because we play mobile quarterbacks every yeah. week. We play the best of the best mobile quarterbacks. So, yeah, excited about the opportunity to play uh, Penn State, and um, I think it'll be a good game. Obviously, you weren't with the team last year, but yeah. uh, what do you get the sense of as far as getting back to the Rose Bowl? Didn't get it done. Mm -hmm. it a tough game, close game, lost in the end, uh, as far as getting it done this time. I would say the guys are really focused. I think... And obviously, like you mentioned, I wasn't with the team last year, uh, but a lot of guys have shared with me, you know, getting to the Rose Bowl was such an experience, and there's all the lights and uh, the stage might be a little overwhelming the first time, but now that guys have been here, uh, it's their second time around, I think uh, a lot of guys are more focused on getting the win. So, yeah. You've, uh, you've played the Rose Bowl before. Um, what have the guys said about the actual Rose Bowl game? Just, just exciting, man. It's a, it's a loud uh, environment, and they they just said it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest game they've played in. So, What does it mean, uh, or what does it say about the program to be able to do back-to-back -back championships? I think it speaks volumes. Utah has really established itself as a program, top-tier program in, in the Pac-12 and in the country, and being able to have continued success over, you know, however many seasons that that span it's, it's really impressive okay thanks Gabe for your time thank you yeah Gabe you said you weren't with the team last year I wasn't did yeah did you transfer yeah went from where Stanford Stanford oh yeah. okay wow yep. so one pack 10 school to yeah so yep. you knew a little bit about Utah right when, when you joined them at the beginning of the year um did you get a sense that the mentality of this team was kind of a Rose Bowl or bust we want to get back there again or was it a little bit different yeah I mean uh Coming in, my expectations were high, and, and I think everybody else's were. So uh, it was obviously we were going to have success. It was just a question of how far we were going to get. And uh, throughout the season, I think there was a little bit of confusion about where we were going to end up, but things panned out with us making the championship, winning, and, and now we're back at the Rose Bowl. So I'd say ex expectations were high, and they'll continue to be high uh, over the next couple of years with the success we've had. It's interesting. It's a lot like Penn State. I mean, they had a season where they lost two games. Yeah. They're out of the college football playoff picture. Who knows what bowl game they're going to play in. Right. They wind up in the Rose Bowl. You guys were kind of similar, right? Yeah. I mean, you lost a couple games in Oregon Beach, and it's like, oh, man, where are we going to go? What's going to happen? Yeah. And then, boom, you're back we're here. In. <laughs> that had to been a pretty steep emotional roller coaster ride, right? Definitely. Yeah. I, uh, I clearly remember the night when we uh, – we finished our game in Colorado, and there was, like, three other games that had to happen, like, results that had to happen in order for us to make the Pac-12 championship. Stayed up to watch the Washington State, Washington game, and um, just kind of a crazy roller coaster, man, but um, super happy that it all panned out, and we're here at the Rose Bowl, so 
I was going to say, when you survive something like that, yeah. does it make it almost more worthwhile and more almost a fate thing that you wind up in a game like In a this? way, yeah. I mean, just the fact that it was like up and down, up and down, uh, just makes it that much sweeter, like you said. Great, great. Yeah. Um, you see a lot of great offenses in the Pac-12. Yeah. Where does Penn State kind of fit in to all of that with their offensive scheme? Yeah, they're a really good offense. I think if I were to compare them to an offense, uh, it would be Oregon State. Very uh, tough, gritty, physical run game. Um, but yeah, they're a really good offense, and we're going to have our hands full on Monday. So. I was say, you mentioned tough, gritty. I think both these teams pride themselves yeah. on toughness on both sides of the yeah. line of scrimmage. So this is almost going to be kind of a game to see who's tougher, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, I could see that for sure. Right. Do you guys pride yourselves on that image, though? That, you know, we do. Because it's funny, a lot of Pac-12 teams are the flashy, speed, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. You guys are almost kind of more like a Big Ten team. The way yeah. You're built, right? Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, I guess I said Oregon State, but we've been talking for the past however long we've been preparing for the bowl game about how Penn State really is a mirror image of, of us and our offense. So it's, it's fun. It's exciting. We actually get to play almost against ourselves right, this week. Yeah. Right, right. You have a lot of experience going up against yourself. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So it should be good. Well, good. Good luck to you, buddy. Thank you so yes. much, man. Good, how you doing? Nice. Hey, just for starters, uh, I guess I guess what does it mean to, to be here? I know you guys have been here a couple days now, but what does it yeah. mean to be here to be getting ready for uh, a Rose Bowl? And uh, for you, with uh, five years remaining, five minutes, your, your first year with the, the program here at Utah. Yeah, it's, it's surreal, man, especially kind of taking a look at my own personal journey with uh, this being my last year eligibility. Being able to play with my brother, uh, I'm uh, super grateful and, and excited about the opportunity. So, what, what did you envision when you decided to come for your final year at the U? My expectations were high. This is this is where I, you know, saw myself. Uh, the vision got a little cloudy throughout the season, but things panned out, and um, yeah, I'm super happy about being here. Mm -hmm. and there can be uncertainty uh, yeah. throughout the year. What was it that helped kind of clarify things, that, not only for you personally, but as a unit, a defensive unit, as a team, to stay focused and know that the goal was still in front of you? Yeah, I credit the coaching staff for keeping us focused. I think <clears throat> each week, uh, game after game, they kept harping on us like, we just got to put our heads down and grind and, and focus on the task at hand and that's what we did, and we just focused on what we could control and let the cards uh, fall where they did, and it worked out. So, yeah, I talked to Morgan and Junior. They both talked about fun, how this team is having a lot more fun again. You yeah. Go back to week one at the swamp, and, and just to where you are now. Do you, do you feel similarly that this team has has gone through a lot of growing pains along the way? Yeah, I think so. Um, try to play with, with passion every week, and I think that's shown, especially with the defense, just playing loose and uh, enjoying the moment, being with, being with each other. <clears throat> Obviously, it's my last year, so I've tried to embody that, you know, like just embrace the, the moment and the journey and enjoy every, every second. So I think we've really done a good job about that as a, as a defense. It would be amazing. I would love to be a part of that legacy and kind of, you know, put my stamp on uh, Utah football history. And I feel really confident that we can we can do that. We can get the job done. So, really looking forward to Monday. Obviously, you know, got a few days until then, but uh, just enjoying the moment, man. Having having fun with 
everything on the field and, and off the field. So it's been a great experience so far. What stands out early thoughts on, on what you've seen on tape about this Penn State offense? I'd just say they're a tough, gritty football team. They're, their offensive line and tight ends work well together, and their running backs run hard. The quarterback's a playmaker, so they're going to uh, – they're going to give us a, a hard time on Monday. We'll have our hands full, but I'm confident about us being able to contain them.